penguins running around. Goddamn Joker. Falcons. The Maronis. Riddler. I am Bruce Wayne. Nobody can tell me what to do. I will make this city safe again. I will make this city worth it. These children need to go to school and not do drops. I only have five episodes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. I'm a little bit of a well, jokester myself. He knocks <laughs> him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. That really hurt my voice Mr. doing Wayne, that. Thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the... Uh, I don't, I don't Wayne, drink. Am I, I don't, right? <laughs> I don't drink. I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's Oh, shit. No, bro, don't drink that. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. You know what? I'm trying so to black out. Put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. MAGA! I mean, Fuck, that's not there. Like used car salesman. Um, Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? That's Who, a banger. You. That's not half bad. That's a banger. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what Give I me said. Give me credit. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? All right. Come on. That's not an issue. Where's the valet at, bro? There's so many people here. There's no cars outside. Where are they parking? Pause. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to the Bob Penguin. and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these Damn, two. that hairline's Hello, fucked. Hello, Bruce. Regina Shit. here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband like an voted egg for plant. Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. I gotta support my mans, you know? Well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. Facts. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are Harvey will remember that. Puppets. Shout out my man Harvey. Come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like my last ours girl said too. together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. 
Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that cape bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Look, you gotta be. Even a spark of hope gotta be. can light the darkness. Oh, Incognito. And I deal this with a bank account. <sighs> He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. Speak for yourself. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. All right. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city. Oh, My neck, dude. To be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. It was terrible. Truly terrible. Yo, everybody uh, likes to bring that like shit up. That at such a young age. How about you go knit a sweater, Grandma? Crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe. Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my. Here we go, parents. doing my justice, doing my we'll job. Have. Thank you, well, thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It's what I do. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, we're getting plastered, baby. Oh, well, hello. No, we're not. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Oh, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Ah, uh, you can stay then. No, no, it's all right. You can stay then. You can stay. No problem. Thanks. No problem. Bruce. The bedroom located upstairs. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. Yes, ma'am. So formal. Call me Bruce. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Yeah, yes, you've been Bruce going making around moves, right? But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. I'm just not gonna say nothing. Uh, I'll take that as a no comment. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Wayne, you I ain't trying to make moves on you. I don't know you, little shoddy. Um, is that blood? Blood where? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Harvey! Do excuse you me, better Dr. catch Bruce, this two-piece combo! Uh, guest has Not arrived. from Popeyes! I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Who's that? Carmine Falcone? Falcone. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Not to my knowledge. Oh, my back. And Fuck. what kind of business I need an Asian do you think girl. he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get Shit me into City man. Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. At least hear him out before you kick him out. Uh, Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, doesn't look good. Man. Inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your it don't. clean image. I'm just gonna be honest like with you, transparency, hundred percent, all the way. Warning, Bruce. Opacity. That's a big Play ass goal. Nice. Okay. Why is he talking to me like that? Why is he talking to me like that? It's my crib, bro. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. 
Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Oh, I Thank know who you, you for are, sir. Welcoming me into your home. Uh oh. You're a respectable man, I hear. I ain't gonna shake your hand. I'm Bruce Wayne. I got an image, and I know everything you about. You gonna remember what? These hands, eh? These hands, eh? Gentlemen, say? perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... See ya, Harvey. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. I'll talk with him alone. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Suck my dick, Harvey! Uh, you are my shit! Get a drink or something. Go mingle! You ain't got pussy my since 03! Let's go. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. Glad it adds up to something real. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. If y'all don't know who Falcone is... I got enough of that as is. He's a drug lord. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Suck my yeah, dick. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. You suck. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. I get along with everybody, your man. your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. Damn! You listen to me, kid. What? I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, For sure. I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city still stands. That boy needs a book of flight to Turkey. God damn, that shit crooked. Batman episode one, baby. Let's get it, man. Fantastic episode. Let's head into the next one, son. Wait, it's not over. Is it over? 
I think it's over. I think it's over. Alright, we're just gonna keep rolling. Fuck it. It's me. Oh, we're in episode one now. Oh, uh, my apologies. Realm of Shadows. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams. What does that say? Monarch Theater. Oh shit, that's his parents' tickets. It's kind of weird that you kept them with the blood on them. It's cool though. Do what you gotta do. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Oh, okay. Now we're playing. Oh, nice. Nice. I raised the volume a little bit. Let's check out the codex. Oh, damn. Okay. Founders of Wayne Enterprises. My parents. Dad was a physician. Mom was a philanthropist. They worked tire tirelessly to help the less poor. I need my glasses, bro. Fuck, I can't see shit. Damn! What the hell, mom? Random stabbings are the latest. All right, don't worry, guys. I'm coming. Got the glasses. I actually can't see shit at night anymore. Here we go. Honestly, look, it don't even really help either. That's the thing. It don't even really help either. I just look stupid. Whatever. They work tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expending their vast resources to improve the city and its citizens. Murdered in the attempted robbery by a man known as Joe Chill. I know who these people are. Let's read about Falcone. Uh, Skyline Club owner, head of Falcone crime family. The worst kind of gangster. One who tries to mingle with high society. He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling, real estate, bribery, and fraud. Shall I read as Batman? I get all them to jail, but he'd walk the next day. I could shut down one operation, but two would pop up in his place. His empire is vast and multi layered. <coughs> Some of which have been denied <laughs> by families for decades. So if you come Shit. home from work tonight, uh, all right. All your stuff on the I know what's going on. No Damn, Caddy. Probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you can believe right. it, now you can't even trust the valets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's all right, this is a lot of bullshit. Um, let's just go to the data port. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that storm drive. Wait, what'd he say? Shit, I wasn't listening. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that storm drive. Alright, the back computer. Where's the back computer? Movie tickets? No. It's over here. Nearly fell off a building for this? Save our 
Do I get a, uh, a race car setup? What's going on? These F1 setups cost about five grand. I mean, I know Bruce got it like that, but damn. Damn, encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. Who asked? And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom Yeah, I'm really here. like that, man. Like, sure, I can see the headlines now. I really am Batman. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. Alfred's got a good set of hair. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Okay. What are we looking at, Mr. Wayne? This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. You appreciate you, big dog. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. How so? I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. It was a keep your enemies closer situation yes sir Hopefully not close enough to stab you in the back for the record your father despised men like Falcone thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation back when it still had one it can again Bruce though people like this cat woman aren't helping is she new to town I've never seen her before hopefully she's just a tourist no, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. Yo, why is this response so hard, though? That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. Oh. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. Alfred, these motherfuckers You're in the spotlight smart, more than ever. You have to be careful. Yes, sir. You know what? I'm gonna listen to you, Alfred. I'm gonna listen you're to right, you, sir. You're right. You're right. I should have canceled the event. I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I'd... Oh, man. I know you're only looking out for me. Alfred, if you make you're making me want to tear me, up, We man. can trade places some night. I only give that no, I'm not partial to Einstein four-headed kiss, dog. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. You get a Manny? Fingernails are shiny. I thought I saw Oz. It's been what, twenty years? Oz is the so penguin. We were in grade school. Indeed, you two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, Wait, maybe not. prison stints. That's a criminal grand slam. Wait. If I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Isn't Oz the Penguin? Why he's returning now, I... Why does he look so damn skinny? Haven't the faintest idea. Ah. Uh, 
I'm not giving that man right a hand, chance. No way. Have come to the right person. No, because I'm because you're generous. A little too much sometimes with your wealth, your time, and even your well-being. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Cobblepot Park. 6.06 a.m. Where are you, Oz? Okay. <laughs> Cover your fucking mouth, you disgusting fuck. No, I wanted to, I wanted to read that. All right. We're going to keep going. Homeless person. You feeding for some drops or what, dog? <laughs> Give change. Right. Burning barrel. Ooh, it's a little chill chill in Gotham City. Ooh, gotta warm those hands. Got a noti on the cellular. Running late. Meet you by the statue. There's the statue, but no Oz. Looks a little conspicuous. Smoking man. There's no reason to talk to him. Look at a shopping cart, I guess. Hey. This is from Acme. We gotta talk to this creep, dude. Look at him. Oh my gosh. With that mohawk? I know he's in those mosh pits. Hey. Beat it. Yes, sir. No problem. No issue. Look at the graffiti. I can't even see your fucking thing. The fuck? The man them can't even read that. Man. Graffiti, more bullshit. Go to the statue. Now, who is this? It's man them walking Watch up on you. Wallet cash. But this goes through you. <laughs> hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Huh? I ain't go talk. You want me to cut it out of you? End him! You too pussy. You too Gentlemen. fucking pussy. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're ah. ruining the moment! Come here. Come on, Shane. Nice. Oh! Stay down. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Seems to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Damn! Oh, okay, bro. Bro, that's unnecessary. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Hey, good as new. 
I'm scared. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Hey man, thanks for the help, dog. I was gonna get <laughs> stabbed really up. up. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Well, Alright, this guy is definitely not the days. penguin. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. Here, let me get a swig. Big dog. Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Damn. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm not gonna be petty. Now all Actually, no, fuck you, Oz, part. talking shit about me. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, was that sarcasm? I was surprised to see Carmine Balcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily. Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. He wasn't invited. I'm just a From little dirty was liar. An uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... Dude, that's a lot of money, man. It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Like, you got your Sorry, point mate. across, dude. Listen nice job. Got a lot more grim than I planned. That's all that hit me. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. For real, man. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Maybe he is the penguin. <laughs> Bruh, I'm so, I, I'm kinda lost. I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Press conference for a new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on the south side of the park. Future home of Thomas and Martin, Mar Mar Martha Wayne. I can't even see a fucking thing. Damn. Okay, Mr. Sorry. Wayne, over here, right here. Got a hell of a crowd this here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. We're gonna ignore them, man. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. 
Shut the fuck up. We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Alfred needs to talk to me. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out. I'm gonna be on my phone. I'm not, you know, I'm not important. Even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Do I? Bruce? My parents would My be honest. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears. I'm pulling the mommy the and daddy card. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, give me some sympathy. My parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. All right, bro. It was We've a hero heard this. Who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night. My parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Yeah, yeah, get them tears flowing. We needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Oh, what an actor. Let's put a dent in crime. MAGA! With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Come on, Sang. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? This day has I passed. think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. I wish that. All right, who's up next? Oh, Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even spoke with him behind closed doors. It's a free country. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. Oh my came gosh, bro. I'm spitting right Dent. now. Your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? I'm reading this text. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly so, are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Oh, Mr. shit. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? Hello, hey, guys, I got a phone call I got to take. Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. It's over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne. How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. What's up, Alfred? Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Why? What did I do wrong, man? Damn, they go find the bad king. Who y'all taking? Where's your warrant? Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. Oh, there it is. It's not personal. 
I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. All right. I understand you're you got your warrant, man. Do your thing. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill in the rain with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA, DA is going to hear about this. Uh, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. Thanks, right, bro. We spitting be now. That's a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Damn! Uh... All right, just buy a new frame. Not that big of a deal. Ruth, stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the Leave press me alone. is away, you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen. Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old fashioned. I still want the truth. The yeah, Gazette right. received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me mm. obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran not every day you get to go after a wayne I think it's politically wants me motivated, out of the because you know, I'm with not my backing, put this Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. I agree. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. I'm gonna give a on quote. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. My family is in The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. 
we have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Thank you. Thank you. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. Thank you. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. What a lovely lady. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. He's a little snake. <laughs>